How do you do? It's Lukey Poo at Coon Truck and RV, your favorite little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a 2005 Born Free 24RB with 58,104 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Born Free 24RB. The RB stands for rear bathroom. It's behind this door. We'll check that out here in a little while as we get further along on our tour. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We're gonna go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have and make sure you're fully comfortable with your new motorhome. You can stay with us here in Sherwood, Ohio at Crystal Fountain Park. Got about 75 and a half inches of headroom in the rear of the coach, about 72 and a half inches here at this roll bar casement. All of the Born Freeze were built with molded fiberglass exteriors and roll bars inside. Tapers up to about 83 inches here in the front, about 80 inches at this front roll bar casement. We have a fantastic fan in the center of the coach that runs on the coach battery system. That can act like an attic fan at night, bring the cool outside air in. Mixture of hard surface and carpet flooring in this one. A couple little divots on the carpet. This jackknife sofa here you pick up on the front, pull this out, it's gonna make a sleeping area. We also have a bunk up top. The bunk mattress is currently flipped up. It's gonna allow you easier access to the cab. This is the bunk ladder that will hook here on this rod. These are just some towel bars, something to hang your clothes on if you'd like to do that. Crank for the TV antenna. We have a TV over here with AC power behind and also DC power here. This window has a screen portion here on the right side. We have day night shades. Again, here with this jackknife sofa, makes a nice center living area with these two chairs. You can swivel around to get the perfect position. Pull this table up and out here. It's gonna make a great mobile workstation with the power over here, both AC and DC. We have seat belts here on these two seats. Two up front, so a total of four belts here on this Born Free. Screen window on this side. We have a different style shade here on this window. Moving now towards the center of the coach, we have our air conditioner. You're gonna control that with the knobs right on the unit itself. That runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. Got this nice slide out pantry, perfect for your SpaghettiOs. Two-way Norcold fridge freezer. This is a two-way, meaning it runs on AC power, so the shore power plug-in or the generator or propane gas. Gonna operate that here with the buttons on the front. I recommend leaving that in the auto setting. It's gonna do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Here in the entryway, easy to access, got a rail to help you get up and in. You can cut a board to fit over the stairwell to prevent pets or little ones from falling in there. Coach battery disconnects, gonna disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. Light switches as you come in here. When you disconnect the coach battery, disconnect there, it's also gonna disconnect the charging systems to the coach battery, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Access down there, nice big closet. A little bit of a spot there in the back corner of that. Flipping around now to the kitchen. Access to the water pump. Big drawers here. Two more drawers. More access here to your fresh water tank and other parts of the RV's utilities. Storage below the sink. Fuse panel on the right, that's our AC breakers, which are a shore power plug-in or the generator or the DC fuses, which are the coach battery system. AC plug here on the front of the kitchen. Standard countertops, lots of counter space. Two burner propane cooktop. 
got another AC plug there. It's great for a coffee pot, air fryer, whatever you've got that you're bringing along for your journey. Screen window there on the left side here in the kitchen. Got a blind for privacy. Two basin sink. Here on our range fan and light, we have our levels test. Don't consider these gospel. These are notoriously finicky. Going to push this button here to light those up. Water pump on off. That's going to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. This will control the hood light and fan. Got a Panasonic Dimension 4, the Genius Convection Microwave Oven. Moving now into the bathroom. Nice big mirror here on this door. Works well for getting ready. Easy to access the bathroom and the shower. Not much of a step up and in at all. Good size shower, exhaust fan overhead. There's going to be contained here in this room. Pull that curtain across and help contain your water. Got some overhead mirrored cabinets. Light switch back there. Some counter space. AC power here. Great for your curling iron. There's a light switch here for the shower area. Water heater on off. This will ignite itself. This is an electric element for the water heater. And easy to access this stool here in the back. Access to the closet. Also a secret compartment up top here that you can just get into here in the bathroom for your toiletries. The Jackknife Sofa Bed measures approximately 75 inches north-south or front-to-back and 46 inches east-west or side-to-side -side in the RV. There is a storage area below the Jackknife Sofa that is accessible from inside or outside of the RV with a spare tire. The cab over bunk measures approximately 83 inches north-south or front-to-back and 68 inches east-west or side-to-side -side in the RV. What is the biggest pencil in the world? Pennsylvania. Born free quality you know and love here in this specimen. Got our bunk ladder going up and into the bunk area. Nice large sleeping area for you. We have screen windows up here in the bunk. Nice little spot here you can tuck your phone, plug it in there into the AC outlet, charge it up at night. Pull this curtain here across and give you more privacy. Got another roll bar up here in the front. Another spot for phones and another screen window. It gets you some good airflow on hot summer nights when you are out adventuring here and you're born free. Nice unit here. This is ready for new adventures. This unit is a consignment. We had a great time at the Born Free Leaping Lions National Rendezvous here at Crystal Fountain Park in Sherwood, Ohio. Check out our Facebook for some pictures and recap of that. We'll have some more stuff coming here on our YouTube channel and also on our social medias. Talking about how awesome that was. If you want to learn more or become part of the club, check it out at bornfreervclub.org. Check this unit out at truckandrv.com. I'm going to call this an 8.5 out of 10. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, and CD player. Nice clean upholstery, clean carpet. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, tears, no funny smells. Cigarette lighters unused, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm going to call this a non-smoker. You can pull this curtain here across the track in the front to block that off for privacy while you're parked. Start and stop the Generac 4K generator here that has a fresh service, fresh oil change. has 182 hours. You can use this while you're driving, while you're parked, whenever you want to. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2005 Born Free 24RB. This motorhome measures 25 feet bumper to bumper with a 13 foot power awning. We have dual rear wheels and the tires look like new and have 40 21 date codes. This motorhome was built on a Ford E450 chassis with a 6.8 liter V10 engine with 58,104 miles. Nice looking exterior on this one, still got lots of shine left. Storage beneath the jackknife sofa. You can access this from inside the coach through these doors. There's a spare tire in there. Propane tank is mounted to the unit. We have our gauge on the left. Valve to turn that on and off on the right. Furnace exhaust. 
Back of our refrigerator, the switch on the right is to operate the power awning. Easy to get up and into this camper. A nice handle there to help you. Screen door is gonna give you some breeze if you'd like to get some at your campsite. Nice looking decals for the most part. Just a little bit of chipping on the edging here and there. It's our water heater. You can access this from inside the coach through this door. Two AC plugins, so you can plug things in out here beneath the awning. Molded fiberglass exterior. Got the born free quality you know and love. Back of our water heater. Storage in the bumper. Access to the hitch. Hook up your bike rack. Another storage spot there. You have some access for plumbing here. Storage bay with our shore power cord. This is a 30 amp service. Ladder for rooftop access. And around now to the driver's side. Black tank flush. This is gonna flush water through your black tank. Everything's gonna come out here. So black and gray are gonna come out of the same hole. You're gonna hook the hose up, pull the black first, and then the gray. Everything will come out right there. 30 amp service. So you're gonna plug the shore power cord in here. Closer look at the stripes. Good looking unit here for a 2005. As I said, just a little bit of crackling here and there. Not something you're gonna notice when the RV's driving by. City water, or excuse me, fresh water tank fill here. You're gonna fill the onboard fresh water tank. You'll use the water pump to get the water out of there. City water's here, you're gonna put the hose right here. That will get the pressure from the hose itself. Control for the outside shower here. It's nice for washing off your shoes after a hike. If you go to the beach, keep the sand out of the RV. Light here to help you, TV in. So if you stay somewhere that has TV, you'll be able to hook that up. Fuel fill, this will run the engine and the generator. Again, we've got those dual rear wheels. We have rear airbag suspension. You can inflate, deflate, and check the pressure right here with a normal, normal tire uh, thing that you use to inflate your tires. Two coach batteries here on this drawer that slides out. Generac 4K generator here. This runs on gasoline that's on the standard fuel tank that runs the engine as well. Generator exhaust. Nice looking born free here. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers.